Good morning, everybody. So this video is about the Timex T307 and the T308S, both S. And I just realized that this one was a T308 just at this very moment. <laughs> um, but they're the same, so I guess you can get either or. I found this guy on YouTube who was using this radio, just like one of those videos that pop up after a video, and the thing sounded great. <clears throat> so I contacted him and asked him, how do I hack it? And I contacted him three times and he wouldn't answer me. So I moved on and I found another guy who had one. And he told me he wasn't going to tell me because I would hack it and sell it. So I moved on from him. I found another guy who had one. <clears throat> and he just wouldn't answer me. I even messaged him direct on Facebook. And he read it, but he, he won't answer me either. So I don't know what's wrong with y'all. <laughs> Everybody's an asshole when it comes to this, and I don't know why. You're supposed to help each other. You can still sell your radios. There's buyers, and then there's fixers. And then there's fixers who will sell to buyers. It's really not a big deal. Um, this is a really simple hack, although it wasn't really simple for me to figure out. So I'm going to take it apart, and I'm going to show you how to do this. And all you guys who don't want to tell me how to do this... Oh, 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 yeah, the one guy told me that um, if I wanted to learn hacks, I had to join the secret, the secret uh, hack club on Facebook. So they wouldn't let me in. <laughs> he probably told them that uh, I was coming. So they wouldn't let me in. They denied my request. It's just ridiculous. You know what? When I sell my radios on eBay, somebody will message me. It, it never fails. At least once a week, somebody messages me and says, where did you get those LEDs? Or how do I put this in? Or what kind of switch do I need for that? And I just tell them. It, it's not a big deal. You, you just help each other out. I, I just don't get the secretive uh, aspect of these boxes. Um, so let me show you how to take this apart. I'm done ranting for now. I've been ranting all week. So what you have is a screw here, a screw here, one, two, three, four, five, six, this one was stripped out. So I have two of these because the first one, I cut wires endlessly to figure out which one was the mute wire, and it was real simple. I mean, it's always simple once you get it, but this was real simple, <laughs> and I totally, totally whiffed on it. I think this is the non-mangled. <laughs> So I've already hacked it, okay, um, but I'm going to show you. It's, it's real simple. You, you'll be able to catch on. And another thing with these, they are only battery operated to hold your time in case the power goes out. You have to plug these into the wall, but if you want to get really creative, you can cut the power cord and put a 12 volt battery on it and you could probably just attach the battery to the bottom so it all sits up as one or maybe even glue it to the back somehow on this base it also has pretty sounds of summer and frogs and bells and meditation stuff it might help in the aid of um, communication I don't know I guess anything's possible so I've got all my screws out it just pops right open um, I, I don't have all my screws out hold on I was talking and I missed one <clears throat> okay so the back just pops out just let it fall down to the to the table it's real simple you you do not need to take anything out there's no screws nothing and on the very top of the board, you're going to find this ribbon cable. There's two of them, okay? One has a red cable on the right side of the ribbon, and one has one on the left side. You want the cable on the right side with the red ribbon on the out. And all you have to do... <clears throat> I'm going to get the camera closer. I'm going to hold i got to hold it. And all you have to do is, with a blade splice between the red and the gray and then turn your blade 
and cut that wire. And that's your hack. That's it. That's all you got to do. And not one person would tell me that. As simple as that. So I'm cutting wires and I'm putting them back together. This one's mangled, but it works. I mean, it's not a big deal. I've, I've soldered them all back together. But that's it. And this thing sounds amazing. So now we'll do a little, a little test with it. I'm going to shut this down and set up. I realize my battery's about dead, so let's do this now. I won't put it back together. I'll do that later. So you've got your on and off button. And when you turn it off, it looks like you got to cycle through a few times to turn it off. I can't just turn it off. I don't know how. I'll have to look up a manual. And then you've got your modes, your FM and your AM, FM1 and FM2. And you just hold down, just like on your radio, you hold down your scan button and away you go. So let's go to the window here, a little closer to the window. Good morning, spirits. Got the switch on here, a little one, small one, works much better. Good morning, spirits. Hi. Hi. Who is that? What's your name? So the past two days here has been really active, really crazy, really strange feeling. I keep getting the sense of a black man with a beard. I don't know if that's Tom. So this is the time, actually, guys. You can get them on eBay for 15, 20 bucks. They're cheap. And the hack is very simple. Um, I may keep one here because it sounds pretty decent. And I might make the other one into a portable with a 12 volt battery. I don't think I'll be selling mine. But for anybody just starting out hacking, if you want simple, this is as simple as it gets. You know, and it's cheap. I mean, this thing sounds great. And I picked this one up for 75 bucks, and then I picked up two for 150 about five months ago. And they all needed switches. It's a crapshoot with these things. So I put the switch on this yesterday, and it's better, but it changes. When you put that switch on there, I can no longer just listen to FM if I want to. It has a funny, I'm going to shut this off, I'm going to show you real quick. Because I know Kevin, you just got one of these. Um, let me show you what, what I'm talking about. So everybody knows that the scan changes. It hasn't stopped scanning though, so that's a plus. AM sounds terrific, my FM sounds like crap, but on a scan it's okay. But... I can't listen to FM anymore. Watch, I'll try to find a station that comes in and show you what I'm talking about. That's the clearest channel and strongest channel. See how warbly it sounds? That's after the hack. AM doesn't sound like that, only FM. And I guess it doesn't matter, I'm not gonna really be listening, listening to it as a radio. But, who knows, maybe I would want to one day. And the AM is fine. But it, it, did, it did hack properly, the switch works great. And it does scan both AM and FM. So you know, <laughs> if you get responses on FM knowing that it's all warbly like that, and it comes through clear, I think that might be another plus. <laughs> who knows. But those are my hacks. They're, they're nothing. Well, this is kind of new because nobody will tell you how to do it, and the only hack that is available online has been removed by the user. So check this one out. This video will help you hack it very easily. And we're going to do a session with the new box. Battery's about to die. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, and thank you to all who didn't help me.